Hello there, fellow Whovians, Hooligans, and Doctor Who fans. Uh, this is a special tribute video to Miss Carolyn Ford. Um, sorry, I got the name wrong. That's Carol Ann Ford. Uh, she played uh, Susan, um, Nee Foreman, Nee Campbell, both surnames she took throughout the series, the alleged granddaughter of uh, Doctor Who, and she is one of two main cast members of the original cast of Doctor Who, who is still alive, along with William Russell, who played Ian Chesterton during the same time. Um, Jacqueline Hill and William Hartnell, of course, have since passed on. Now, these are the only three DVDs I actually have in the series uh, featuring Carol Ann Ford. And uh, this is a very special one I'm going to show you first. This is The Beginnings. It's the original... DVD set, it's a big box set about an inch thick, it has black and white stills uh, from these uh, three stories on the back, and the stories featured are An Unearthly Child, The Daleks, and The Edge of Destruction. The first DVD in the series is An Unearthly Child. There's William Hartnell right there, and uh, Carol Ann Ford. Now, she was actually 23, but 23, I guess, it's like the cows don't look like cows on film. You need 12 cats tied together. <laughs> oh, joke. This is the first debut of Doctor Who. The first episode, sort of a standalone show about uh, the two teachers, uh, Ian and Barbara, discovering that one of their students uh, is a little bit different than the others. And then they go to about 12,000 B.C. and uh, help the earliest hominids discover fire. You open it, here's the D. It's the original last D. Series. The Daleks. Uh, this is a very special episode. This is the one that made Doctor Who a show to contend uh, when Terry Nation invented these. Well, I suppose at the time you'd think of them as salt and pepper shaker with plunger devices. Borderline, um, you know, low budget B movie looking. But they're still with Doctor Who today. So how little did they know? The detractors of the show. The Daleks is a six-part story, and uh, actually seven parts, I'm so sorry, uh, taking place on the radioactive planet of Skaro. We don't meet Davros in this, but we do meet the Thals and the Daleks very early in Doctor Who. And on the back, here are some stills from that episode. Carolyn Ford again in the corner. You open it up, and here's the DVD. Very similar to the other one, actually. And on the next DVD is The Edge of Destruction. This is a two-parter to fill up space uh, that takes place solely inside the TARDIS. Really shows off the acting abilities of a lot of the uh, principals. Now, the people who were in Doctor Who, uh, Jacqueline Hill, um, William Russell, and William Hartnell, a lot of them came out of classic cinema and theater, so they have a great sense of drama. These stories are very much like a play done in a serialized format on television. Very dramatic. Um, it was intended as a children's educational show at the time, but there's a very adult orientation about the whole thing. That's why I think Doctor Who has so much appeal. It's a lot more than the sum of its parts. This you've seen in a previous video, the Aztec Special Edition, but I'm going to show you what I didn't show you in that previous one, the DVD. As you can see, it's similar to the first DVD, except... There's a pyramidal shape in the background, and um, Jacqueline Hill as um, Barbara slash Yatexa. I keep forgetting that name. I'm not exactly a scholar of Aztec history, although I find them quite interesting as a culture. That's why I love this episode. So I can't remember all the names of their deities very well. Probably should. And that's a picture of her right there. It's a little different from the first one. Uh, this is the bonus features with a uh, picture of an actor portraying uh, Utoxel, 
who is uh, involved in sacrifices. So that's that DVD right there. This is actually, I think, one of Carolyn Ford's last stories, and one of the last ones to be released um, on DVD. And this is uh, Planet of Giants. There's some black and white stills from that episode. Now, this involves the Doctor and the TARDIS crew shrinking. I love that, because it has like a TARDIS in the background. Very eerie imagery on the DVD itself. Oh, yeah, and uh, I forget. We have a... Another release to deal with here that I forgot to put down, and that's The Reign of Terror. Now, this episode has actually never been seen in America before, which makes it very interesting, and two parts are missing. Um, actually, it says in the back, parts four and five. And like with Pat Troughton's story, The Invasion, for the second Doctor, they animated these parts. And I'm going to be watching this today and reviewing it, as it's about Napoleon, and it looks very interesting. I love that cover. I love the color scheme because this is a black and white show. Very interesting. You can see Barbara and Susan here um, near a guillotine. The knife coming down. Very dramatic. So that is my Doctor Who collection for the episodes featuring uh, Carol and Ford as Susan. Now, I actually have rented many the rest of them from Netflix, the ones that survived. And... Um, they also have a reconstruction of Marco Polo, the completely lost fourth episode, on that. And uh, I have many more Hartnell stories from the first Doctor, but these are the only ones with the original cast that I actually have. So, happy birthday, Carol Ann Ford.